Hello again everyone, Deflect here, Firm But Fair Gaming. Want to bring you a video on killing the Hive Queen. This is a solo op, or it's not solo, sorry, a single boss op, technically. It's actually not, but it's got like five trash packs or ten trash packs before it. But it's one of the quick solo ones that can be done. So this one is relatively easy. As you can see, I'm queued as a tank. Now... I am not actually a tank, as if you look at all my abilities, I'm just a DWT, but uh, it works for this because it's only group finder, and it's relatively easy and fast. You'll see the whole run is done under 10 minutes, and it's just a nice switch up from TC once in a while. So there'll be a couple trash packs you want to kill here, two of the big ones, and there'll be one on this side, one on the other side you pull, and a couple just small rooms in between you and the boss to do. Now... There's not really much technique to this, as you can see. It's you can mainly I mainly tanked him in this spec as well, as it does not do a lot of damage. You can, you know, as long as you have a couple of healers in here, you're you're fine. Which you have to have at least one healer and one DW, uh, one DWH to actually heal. So it works out very very well. And if you have a great healer, it's even better. Now I'll give you a heads up. I did have a bet. I was actually uh, in the Discord with a buddy, and he didn't think that you can take the explosion. So I told him if someone cues the explosion, I'll stay down there, and I will show you you can take the explosion in a squishy DPS uh, class. He uh, he didn't think you could. I bet him he could. So you'll be able to see whether I live or die during the explosion coming up. And in, this is, you know, if you're a tank, you for sure can take the explosion. But if you're a DPS, he did not feel it. So put your bets in and whether I can die or survive coming up at the explosion part. Anyways, uh, this is the, another quick mob room here. Two big ads. Uh, you can burn them down very quick, as you see. It does not take much just to kill these things. First one's down. The other one does spawn a couple little ads, which go down very, very quick anyway. So it does not take uh, too, too much effort to get through these. I did have my mouse. My mouse is a little actually extra sensitive today, I found. So not a big deal. I uh, just turn a lot, a lot quicker when I'm looking around anyway. But... Yeah, a couple more ads on the pathway. We're getting up into one of the final rooms, so it's I believe there's two more rooms after this and you will be done. So I'll quickly burn the ads. Nothing to it. Last one dies. Continue forward. Another room, just one big ad and four small ads. Burn them as quick as you can. They do, like, on harder difficulties, this is, you know, the, uh, the acid, whatever you want to call it, they spit at you, actually does a lot more damage. But right here, it's nothing really big. And I believe this is the last room before the bombs. <coughs> Excuse me. And what you want to do is just burn. I usually look at the big elite and then go tank the other ones. Hopefully getting some dots on each one of the other ads and try and bring them together so they can... Uh, just DPS quicker. As you can see, they spawned a couple little ones. You can see on the map that the little ones are coming in now. Not a big deal. You can usually kill these ones, group up, take the rest of them down. Now again, this is group finder, so there's not much technique to it. It is very simple to do. You like it's nobody should die. You'll be able to survive pretty easily. It's not very heavy on the healing. I do take quite a bit of damage because I am not in tank spec. I am in just DPS spec and like the squishiest DPS spec, but I don't even use any of the defensives. It, it's really not that necessary uh, with the healer. The healers are doing a great job keeping everyone topped up, so. Last ad, and then I actually got a call right here while I was waiting for someone to plant the bomb. So here it is. I'll, I told him I'll wait for someone to plant the bomb. Sit down here. I don't know if my group knew, but <laughs> I was waiting anyway. So yeah, trying to get someone to uh, plant it because I, I, I know there shouldn't be any difference if you plant it or if someone else plants it, but here he goes. 
I'll run back to the edge. Pop my defensives. And you do survive it. It is possible. FYI. Now, I had to use two defensives to do it. And um, it took me almost to no health. But it is possible. So I did, uh, did beat my buddy in that bet. Just for uh, fun. But jump down. And you're in the final boss room. Now, what you want to do is you focus the boss and you'll see ads that come out. So focus the boss for a while, wait till the ads get closer, and then go for it. You uh, bring the ads in and try and DPS the ads close to the boss is what I usually do. Uh, if they're big ads, you try and jump on them when they come out. So a uh, little bit little bit of technique to it but not much especially on group finder it really really on group finder it doesn't matter you can just wait till they all come in and uh, dps them from there but uh, you'll see some of them pick up uh, some of the healers and i uh, try and get them off just with a couple dots on them usually gets the attention of the ad so it's nothing crazy easy dps tank and spank type technique you do get blasted you can see an ad right there I kind of walked by it and tried to get it with one of my uh, dots. It didn't work the first time, so I had to go back. Definitely want to keep them off your healer so your healer can focus on healing. Now it's um, working on... You can see there's one more left. I'm trying to get that one off the other guy. Boss is three quarters of you know health still. He's still 75% health. We're closing on him pretty quick. And you'll see shortly some another group spawn. They close in. And then luckily I can just spread. Now when two these are the two big ads. You want to take them down uh, when they pop up. So as soon as the Royal Guards pop, you want to get them down because they, on other difficulties again, not this one, they do do quite a bit of DPS. So um, these ones are pretty easy, but uh, when you're doing harder or harder versions of it, it is a little tougher. Those things do a lot more. So there we go. The ads are down, back to the boss. Boss should be closing on 50% now. More DPS, more DPS, more DPS. And then more ads will spawn in again. Just DPS the ads. So you can see uh, it's a lot of little ones. You want to bring them in together if you have um, dots spreading like I do. Uh, so you can spread your dots to the DPS or all the ads. Kills them quickly. And away you go. Back to the boss. Now at this point on harder ones, it really depends on how quick you're going down on the boss. I would still say there's a good chance you probably want to kill some of the ads, but you might be able to down the boss straight away if um, if you do focus the boss. It, it just depends on how much DPS you're doing single target. I went and uh, killed the ads just because it's nice to get these ads down. Then you move back to the boss without really that much trouble. So we have the last of the little ones down. Switch back to the focus on the boss. And you can see it's almost dead. And we are done. That is it. That is how quick it is. That's how fast it is. Nice easy one to do. It's a, it's a fun mission. So it, it's a nice switch up from TC. Uh, if you want to switch it up, try the, the Hive Queen. It's a great one to do. Fun, fun, fun. Nice little sw uh, switch on the op. So if you haven't before, hit the subscribe button, like, share. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. This was Deflect from Firm But Fair Gaming.